happy graduation get ready with me vlog today is graduation day as you guys can tell i'm already prepping um can't believe today's it graduating college after yeah everything and i'm super excited i'm kind of sad at times come but ah, i'm really excited and graduation's less than three hours and I'm gonna get ready, bring you guys along. I already need to go get my chai. And yeah, so if you guys wanna see my get ready vlog with me graduating college, keep on watching. So I already depuffed my face. Well, I'm depuffing my face. I already washed is what I meant. But especially since it's gonna be a long day, I want my face to be really depuffed. Especially on the neck area. But I went really quick to get an ice chai because I know I have like a lot of errands to do right after graduation too because I'm still moving stuff out because I leave for my trip and then I need to go pick up my dress from Zara for my grad party. But I also got a little cherry danish and I just need to move some stuff out too and just make some stuff done. So it's just like a lot, and I know I might as well be fueled up for it. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to completely curl my hair. I probably won't do this all on camera because it might be a little bit boring, but I'm going to curl my hair, and then I'm going to do my makeup. All right, so right now my hair looks like a little Shirley Temple hair, but I'm going to start my makeup just so my hair is still out of my face because normally I'm just going to keep it all down. Um, and I think I'm just going to go for light coverage because it's going to be really nice outside, even though it's going to be inside. I'm still going to do, like, eyeshadow probably, but more of the face makeup probably do pretty white. Um, and also the lighting is really weird. I'm just using my window for the lighting because I feel like that's, like, the best natural lighting. So it might look a little green when I edit this or whatever. But, yeah, so I'm just going to curl this. Hopefully this stays. I need to do my makeup and then I need to go pick up my parking pass for my family to park to the school and then I think we have to be there like between 8.30 and 9.30 and I think I'm just going to get there at 9. So it just gives myself an in-between time. But I'll try to record as much as I can. You guys already know how I feel about filming in public. But I just want to like document this monumental day for you guys. So, I feel like a little bit of crazy, but I went in with the naked three palettes. This literally was my first high end palette. Um, and I went with the shade Trick, and in the outer corner, I put Factory, and in the middle, I put Dust and Burnout. Still my favorite palette because I just love the shades in here. So, right now, I'm gonna do um, eyeliner off camera and then do like mascara and then the rest of my face. All right, so I'm gonna start with my face and I'm going in in Glossier Stretch Concealer just to like cover up my blemishes. And I always like to put this underneath my eyes first on top of a different, before I put another concealer just because this gives me more of a natural coverage and it just helps cover like my under eyes before I go in with additional coverage. And now for foundation, I'm going to go in with my mini Charlotte Tilbury Fall Flawless Filter. I'm definitely going to buy the bigger size because I love this. I just love the way it looks and just the coverage it is and the glow. And then also my Glossier Skin Tint. Same thing with this one. Like, I just think they're both nice for the summer and it just gives you nice glow. But also that like coverage that you might want. Especially with this one, because with the Glossier, I feel like you have to build with it. But with the Charlotte Tilbury definitely feels that it gives like a nice coverage already. Oh. For concealer, I'm going to go with Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. This is in the shade, shade Ivory. And then the Glossier Solar Paint, which I really like. I was... At first I was hesitant about this because I feel like it's a little bit too red. When you really blend it though, 
it's really nice. I've used this concealer, not this exact concealer, but I've always gone back to this concealer since I was like starting to get into makeup. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's a nice coverage concealer. See, like how it completely like just sharpens it and it's not too red or anything. And if I feel like sometimes it's red depending on my foundation, I always go back towards like a cooler um, bronzer. All right, so I just did the contour, blended it out, and I did this off camera, but I added the Cloud Paint Beam, the shade Beam, and then the Beauty Crop Glow Milk, which I really like because it just gives me that nice natural glow. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to bake around my face. Again, sorry if the quality is just like really weird because I'm just relying on my window for the lighting. And so it might just like be an off color. And I use like my front camera. I know like the back camera is like better quality, but for me, I'm able to see myself when I film. So while I'll let that sit, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier um contour this is in candle glow it's like a bronzer and i'm just gonna use my angle brush i'm just gonna darken this area just a little bit i always like to look a little bit more bronzy and i'm just like down the neckline i never really contour my nose because i just don't really have I'm not, one, I'm not good at it, and two, I just don't feel like I really have to contour my nose, but, yeah. So, I think I'm going to do my eyebrows and then start curling the rest of my hair. Bad news on my part, I forgot to bring my eyebrow brush, and I knew it too. I told myself, ugh, oh, eyebrows is like my number one thing that I always like worry about, and I don't have it. I brought my... Clear wax from ColourPop. Maybe I just need to improvise with my finger and try to do it because I cannot do not do my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so this is my over hair, curled hair. I'm gonna run my hands through it, but I'm just gonna wait until I like put my dress on. Um, but I touched up my eyeliners because I felt eyeliner. I felt it wasn't dark enough because I used brown eyeliner, and then I think I add a little bit more mascara but i'm about to go pick up my parking pass from one of my friends and then we're gonna change to my dress and my gown okay so i kind of like ran my fingers through my hair it's probably like the best it will go but on my lips i added the charlotte tilbury pillow talk and um same thing with the lipstick the lip liner and lipstick I just feel like this gives like a nice shade, but I have almost an hour, half hour left until I have to walk over and then graduation starts in an hour and a half, which is getting like a little nerves, but I'm super excited. I got my cap and gown ready, so I'm going to throw that on and I'll give you guys like the full details of my outfit. Okay. So you guys can't see my full thing, but my cap and all well, my gown spread and then have my little cap right here this always keeps falling so hopefully it does not fall but i always hate how i look with the hat it's the front of the hat so i'll figure out how to put it on but yeah so i'm about to meet up with my friend and we're gonna head to graduation